so hello everyone in this video tutorial we're going to learn how to create google ad conversion tracking through gtm so let's start our today's video to do that first we have to connect our gtm container to our website since i already have done this so we just will create our google ads conversion to do that we have to come to our google ads account here we have to go to the summary under goals and conversions so here now we have to click new conversion action so in these options it asks us what we're going to track if we are going to track our website we have to select this option and if we are going to track app mobile app we have to select this option and if we track phone calls we have to select these options and by clicking this we will be able to track our conversions from google analytics for and other sources so for me i'm going to select this option so here we have to paste our website domain now we have to scan this domain from here uh, we have to click on add a conversion action manually for my website i'm going to uh, track purchase so that's why i'm selecting this purchase if you track other conversions like add to cart we can check out and subscribe and others you could select other options but for my case i'm selecting the purchase Okay, so it asks us to give a name. So here we have to select our value. If we select this option, then it will count same value for every conversion. And if we select this option, it will count a different value for each conversion. And if we select this option, it wouldn't count any conversion value. For my case, as I am tracking my e commerce website, I'm going to uh, select this uh, use different values option because you can see, as you can see uh, in this website, I have so many products and their values are different like this is 124 this is 145 and this is 175 so for these different values I have to click this option and here it asks us how many time it will count the conversion if we select this option it will count every single purchase and if we select this one no matter how many times a visitor purchase in our website it will count just only one as we are um, tracking our e-commerce website i'm going to select this option so this is our click through conversion window this is a time frame if someone click our ad and don't purchase within 30 days it won't count them as a conversion if they do then it will count them as a conversion so for my case um, i'm going to select this uh, one week here engaged view conversion this is actually for the youtube video engagement if someone watch our video on youtube and don't purchase within this time frame it wouldn't count them as a conversion and if they do then it will count them as a conversion so this is the same as same as the previous two but this is a view through conversion if someone view our ads and don't purchase within this time frame it wouldn't count them as a conversion and this is the attribution model for here the google recommend us to keep the data driven model but i recommend to select this last click model so here we got our enhanced conversions so if we select the bidding type enhanced conversion bidding then we have to check this button so it's done so here we have to set up a tag as i will track the conversion through a gtm so i'm going to select this use google tag manager here we got our conversion id and our conversion level so we have to copy them and paste here so here we have to set up our own tags triggers and variables so let me do that so i'm clicking on new tag here the tag here we have to select google ads google ads conversion tracking and here we have to give our conversion id and conversion label here i have to uh, paste the conversion id and here i have to paste conversion label and now we can see the conversion value this is the value it will be taken and dynamically from our data layer as same as the transaction id and currency so we have to we have to create three variables to do that first we need to preview our this gtm so i'm opening my gtm in another tab here uh, first we have to preview our site from here because we have to know the trigger name we're going to use so from here we have to purchase a product so we could track our event so as you can see i have placed an order here and this is our purchase event so we're going to data layer and from here we have to copy the event this is the event name purchase so here we have to give our conversion value transaction id and currency code but the problem is 
in our website we can see plenty of products and each product has its own value and every value is different so that's the main problem if we directly copy this value and paste it here then our every conversion value will be 124 dollar but as you can see in this site we have also 145 and 175 and 135 dollar product so we can't directly use this value here so what can we do now we have to create our own variables for each of these options to track the conversion value dynamically transaction id dynamically and the currency code to do that we have to create our own variable in gtm but before that let me show you the data layer variable from here we are going to track the value currency and transaction id here this is a javascript out and this event model is an object here for your case you could probably see e-commerce here instead of event model and the value currency and transaction id is under that value so we can directly copy the transaction id value and currency we can't just copy and paste it then it won't work so what can we do we can i already have created them so these are the thing we need to just copy and paste this is the object after that object we have to use a dot and after then after that we can just copy our transaction id value and currency so now what can we do we have to copy them and make them variable for each one so i opened my gtm to another tab here we have to go to variables i already have created the variables so this is the for the currency this is for the transaction id and for the value let me show you how i created all this so in the variable section we have to click on new click on here and as you know this is the data layer variable so i'm clicking on here here we have to paste this we just created so i'm copying this and paste it here and give it a name i just keep the same name and save it so our value is done as same as the currency and the transaction id this is the transaction id so from here uh, i'm clicking that tag and just here we have to take the values so to take the values we have to click on here so select this value i mean the variable we created this is transaction id and this is the currency code so this one okay so it's done i'm clicking on plus here and custom event this one so here we have to paste that purchase event so this is the event paste that event here give it a name now i'm saving this now we have to give this tag a name save this so our conversion creation is done now we have to submit this we can click both skip and continue from here we have to click on done <coughs> so now let's see how we did i'm clicking on travel sheet continue here we have to give the website's url and connect in this preview section we're going to see if our conversion is working perfectly or not so let's see now i'm placing the order here so placing order is done this is the purchase event and the purchase tag is fired it means it is working perfectly and we can see here no recent conversion and what does that means that it means our purchase is working perfectly so thanks for watching the video we'll see you in the next one goodbye for today